win. Da, 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 da. We are so proud. We shout it out loud. We love you, Leeds. 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 <laughs> He's lost it. <laughs> He's lost oh, it. I'll never forget you guys. Some of you, you won't know, but um, I, I, I really embarrassed him. I really embarrassed him when we were at he the did. Euros. Um, there was a group of Leeds fans, right? That was a World Cup in South Africa, mate. Yeah, South Africa. And he'd been bagging Leeds all the time on radio. So this big group of Leeds fans obviously recognised us, started talking about cricket and that, and... Leeds. Leeds. I said, oh, you want to meet Adrian Leeds. Durham? You should have seen Leeds. his face. Because <laughs> I didn't know who I was. He went bright he red and he thought they were going to beat him up. But they were great, weren't they? Yeah. Had a picture with him and everything. With their big flag and everything. Here we go, here we go. Marching on together. What a great song. <laughs> we're going to see you win. Da, 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 da. We are so proud. We shout it out loud. We love you, Leeds. 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 Hold on. Oh. So I can't even sing that. What is he playing? That was the climax there. What's going on? No, you can't sing uh, that. You're not a Leeds fan. No, you missed the last line. There, oh, <laughs> they edited it badly. Um, there was nothing left. They missed out the big crescendo right at the end. Sorry, what are you saying? You're not a Leeds fan. Um, I've always said that if my club didn't exist, I'd support Leeds. I've always said that. You know that. Yeah, as well as what Man City and no, Arsenal no, 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 no. and no, 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 Arsenal, <laughs> Newcastle, because you went student days. And I, all I did. Uh, no, I wasn't a student. I, mean, I did live in Newcastle. Well, I had a you, great time in Newcastle, many... but not a fan. Just because I live Hull, there doesn't yeah, mean he likes Hull as well. Well, you live in Milton Keynes. How many clubs so, you got? No, no, you do support Milton Keynes. How many clubs has he got? Whole rugby league. That's a totally different sport. <laughs> for heaven's sake. Oh, he anyway, it. we're going to talk about Leeds. Um, you heard from uh, Stuart Dallas, uh, Tony Dorigo, ex Leeds. And uh, the skipper Liam Cooper there. Liam Cooper did an interview in the paper recently and he said this. Th just listen to this. This is what we're talking about Bielsa, okay? And he said, Bielsa's changed my life as a player but also as a man. It's difficult to put your finger on exactly why, but I just feel so much more content in myself with my life away from football, my wife and kids. I enjoy my life and that's a credit to him. He's put my mind into a better place. He's changed my whole approach to life so next time discipline just hold on, yeah. next next time people are questioning and and listen whether you're nominated for world awards or whatever just forget all of that but next time you're thinking well is Bielsa that good what's he won have a think about those words and the managers that do big him up um Guardiola I mean what he says about mm. Bielsa and the respect he has Pochettino the respect he has for Bielsa there's a reason that happens and there is a lot of people who come out and say but well yeah but what's he won Where's he been? You know what I mean? And But the respect out there in football is absolutely huge. And the way Leeds have gone about it this season, it's a credit. Um, I remember doing the show and um, people said, oh, they slipped off. And people said Leeds should have got gone into the Premier League the, the year before, yeah. right? And I said, the only position they're in that with the players they've got is because mm -hmm. of Bielsa. I said, so just take a good look at yourself and think yourself lucky, but he's going to stay another year and give you another chance to take them up. And he did. And then they gets into the Premier League and still goes about it the right way. A lot of people would have thought, but phew, I don't know if they've made the right signings. Have they made good enough signings to stay in the Premier League? Well, they've not only just stayed in the Premier League, or staying in the Premier League, they've played some unbelievable football, that I press I tempo football. Manchester City couldn't cope with them. Mm. Well, if you if you go by all the stats, that they, they run and they play more minutes than any other uh, set of players. It, it's an incredible demand from those players. But if you remember back at the start... Uh, when he turned up, they were doing triple sessions, never mind double sessions, and all the players still loved him. He took them away for a whole month from their families, and they still loved him after that. And in training sessions, Liam Cooper talks about how he comes alive in training sessions, how he's, he absolutely loves it. He's, he's completely engrossed in the training sessions, and that's infectious. And then they want to do well for him on the pitch. People have talked about how, yeah, they run a lot, and that means they run out of steam. They've just won the last three, and we're at the back end of a difficult it's, it's, season. It's discipline, Ed, the biggest word for me on mm. all this. And the reason, obviously, taking him away from their families that first month is because he was changing the way they go about everyday life. Yeah. The way they go about everything. That's incredible management. From, from turning up on time, to training, to discipline on the field, to work rate on the field. He changed their lives in that month. And he changed the way they were going to play football under Bielsa. And it's proven, but it's worked. He got them into the Premier League. 
and he's going to keep them in the Premier League. Now, the job for Leeds now is to keep on doing it. And Bielsa is keeping him motivated. Because we all know if Bielsa thinks, you know, I can't do anything else here, I've done my job, that's it. Mm. I'm having a year off, I'm having two years off. I'll, I'll, he does what he wants, right? Yep. But he seems to love being at Leeds. The fans absolutely adore him. And the players adore him. But they've got to keep building. The big question that we want to ask, and, and I think we, we're both admirers of what Bielsa is doing at Leeds United, um, and I think there's many times this season when some have questioned Leeds defensively when they've shipped goals, and we've said, hang on a minute, they're mid-table, uh, they're going to survive, they've just been promoted, they're really attractive to watch, what's the problem? The fans are happy as well, so what's the problem? We've been very much on uh, Bielsa's side when it's come to him being questioned. The big question is this, we, we think they're going to be okay next season, but... How do they stop becoming the next Sheffield United? Sheffield United finished ninth last season. 54 points. Hold on, though. 14 wins from their 38. This season, it's a very different story. They're bottom four wins from 31 so far. They've been shocking. They've been truly terrible. Now, they're two different clubs. They play different ways. There's different personnel. They're different managers. I get all of that. But we all know there is something. Liam Cooper talked about it in the interview about the second season, how difficult it can be. So what is it that's going to stop Leeds United suffering a more disappointing second season? Well, what it should be, um, it's quite simple. I think Leeds have a lot of possession of the football and their work rate. Sheffield United have got work rate, but it's keeping the opposition out and they have non-goal scoring centre-forwards. Totally different style of football. And I think Sheffield United did shock a lot of people with a style and that unorthodox style uh, that he brought to the Premier League and it was brilliant to see so many people were talking about it but in the second season trying to defend when other teams knew exactly how they were going to play is different with Leeds you're still going to get the work rate you're still going to get the eye press you're still going to get possession of the football and if they have a lot of the possession in games 30% against Man City with 10 players on the pitch you know what I mean there's a lot of teams who won't have 30% with 11 players on the pitch <laughs> Yeah. Would they? That's yeah, true. Yeah. Right? They wouldn't even have 20% against mm. Manchester City. So when they get the ball, they keep it. They move it quickly. And when they lose the ball, they work out to get it back. And that's why... Listen, it's nothing's for sure. But that's why they keep recruiting well under that management. And he keeps the players disciplined and they keep their hunger. There's no reason why... Again, I think it'll be similar. I think it'll be mid-table again. I'm not certainly going to say Leeds are going to be in the Champions League, but realistically, the first two, three seasons, for them, it's about staying there and finishing around that 10th, 11th, 12th spot. That's their target. I can't see them doing a Sheffield United, but what recruitment do they need? I think we, I think Alioski might be going, so there is room to bring in players. What areas need uh, improving? I think Leeds have got better players than Sheffield United have. Uh, and if you look at Calvin Phillips, who's already an England international, nobody from the Sheffield United team got anywhere near yeah. international like England honours. So I think that already you can tell there's better players in that Leeds squad than Sheffield United had. And that first season for Chris Wilder was a miracle season. And Harrison. I mean, he's a yeah. fantastic footballer. Terrific player, yeah. And they'll probably sign him now full-time. And You'd then they've so, got yeah. uh, the Rodrigo. They've, got, um, they've, they've just got better players. Rafinha, who's, like I said, for me, he was in my... Uh, team of the year at one point mm. um, I don't know if he'd still get in there now because we said we were going to do that again at the end of the season didn't mm. we, we did this about 8 weeks ago um, so they've got good players they've got some good players but I still think he needs to strengthen in certain areas